Okay, so we're going to walk through what the animal head steps look like uh, in blacksmithing through a CAD program, just so it's easier to visualize. A lot of the time when video is being recorded, uh, it's too hard to get into the nooks and crannies to clarify what's happening in real time. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use a half-face blow right, to shape the brow ridge and the nostril. And so you can see that this block represents your anvil, right? so you're forging on that subsection. And that's going to knock out the area that you need to recess the eyes, as well as give you the desired nostril, nostril profile. So as you go through, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your cup chisel and you're going to mark out each eye. Okay. And once you've marked out each eye, it's up to you if you want to do the pupils. But if you decide to do the pupils, I find it's easier to do before I flare the nostrils. So you mark each pupil, like so. And then you can move to your nostrils. So one nostril, and then the other. And then once you get the nostrils in, um, it gives you a pretty good definition of where you want to cut the mouth. And so you're going to come in with your straight cutter chisel and just set that mouth. And at this point, you want to rock your chisel to the side and give yourself a good guide for where to come in from the opposite side for each cut. And we're going to rotate the model so you can see what we're doing with the mouth at this point. So you would cut in from the side, and every time this happens, um, I will reclamp it in the post vise in a different direction. Some people will use the anvil face, but I don't like marring the sides of the face of my animal heads, so I will not. So now you need to come in from the front and establish the teeth using a putcher. And let's rotate again so you can see that offset. So you're just slightly above your mouth cut ridge between the cut of the mouth and the nostrils to make that indent to define the teeth and any excess pressure from your butcher will shape the lower lip of your animal head. If you plan on putting in lower teeth, you can then flip the butcher over and then mark this region here to give lower teeth. Okay. So once again, you'll do this on either side. Like so, coming in from the left and from the right. So. If you want to get an idea of what it looks like to have all of your chisels functioning at once, um, we'll just go and show that. Normally I use a brighter interface, but uh, this just not, did not seem too blacksmithy in terms of the color palette, so I switched to this darker one. So it seemed, uh, they had one that was metallic, and I was just like, that's too purple. This is closer to what it looks like in the shop when we're working. It's a little easier to translate. Okay, so we're going to ignore the half-face blow, but all of the other chisels should be sticking out. And so this is all of the blacksmithing operations summarized in all of the chisel functions. Okay. And that's really all you need to know for your basic animal head. 